So this is something called Zelda 64, Dawn and Dusk Expansion Disc. This started out as a 64DD expansion for Ocarina of Time. It turned into something different. It's its own thing. It is like a Yura Zelda or Zelda Ga uh, Gaiden, but it's its own thing. It's kind of like that, but it's not. So I don't really know what to expect. I have, I have no idea aside from the fact that I made a Lunk character to just test and see if it worked. Let's pretend for a second that Ocarina of Time comes out, the 64DD expansion drive comes out here in the States, and it's huge all around the world, or at least it's accepted enough that they're able to make an expansion for Ocarina of Time. This is that. I don't know if it's anywhere near the quality of Ocarina, but I, again, I like what the Luigi's blood. Oh, sorry, Luigi Blood didn't make this, he uploaded it. Captain CDI is the creator. I, I'm sorry. You know what happens when you assume, right? You make an asshole. You're an asshole. That's the quote. Who is it? Knuckles? Does Link look a little bit more yellowish green than usual? Keep in environment. Dusk side differs greatly from that of Dawn side. Prepare for heat and cold. Potions and elixirs. What? It's okay. Who are you? This reminds me of that one house in Majora's Mask that has the toilet. It's kind of weird going back to Ocarina. I mean, it feels kind of normal because I've played this game so many damn times. Oh, that's weird. It won't open. Well, someone was over there. But yeah, the Ocarina thing for me is is more about the frame rates. Like you, here's me harping on frame rates again. But you know, you're going down to 20 frames. Even less than the movies. This looks nice. So again, the idea was to take advantage of all the benefits of what 64DD could bring to Zelda. Which ended up kind of turning into the expansion pack for Majora's Mask. Someone said, dude, how do we get this? Um, you gotta, uh, go to the alternate reality that I found it in, bring it back and play it on your N64. I'm sorry, I can't... I can't reveal that information. Vinny, this hack doesn't actually use the DD's capabilities visibly. The extra memory is used to cache music in between loading screens. Okay, uh, next I'm gonna find out that this is a Metroid game and not Zelda. I'm getting everything wrong. Yeah, don't listen to me, chat. I probably don't know what I'm talking about. Also, hi, Dampy. So that was just there, huh? It's a wimpy kid like you're doing up here, huh? You don't do my plants any favors by standing in the way of their sunlight. Unlike you, my plants are strong. They'll live whether or not you take away their light. So, wish I could skip through this dialogue more quickly. That might be good for a future update. But is this a full game or just a tech demo? I, at this point, I'm hesitant to answer any questions about this because I have no idea. I'm being told it's a full game. On my sources. Vinny, are your sources reliable? Um, my sources is chat. So chat is saying, so that's a no. But if the chat is unreliable and your chat, that means that it, it's yes. Oh, can I say another positive? I know Link's Awakening has been like a little divisive, the remake. And I understand it. I understand why people would feel that way. But I'm gonna say that there is a couple things that I really like. Quality of life stuff in particular. The beeping is loud for a minute, and then it goes away. Not entirely, but it just gets really, really low. So you know the beeping is happening, but it's not annoying. I guess my problem with this so far is that I guess I don't know where I am. I think I'm... Do I have to solve, like, dungeon stuff now? No, I should be- oh, fuck. You know what I should be doing? I should be walking backwards. What happened to Link's hair? That will likely be addressed later. Or, it's a story element and Link is turning into wood. Link's mom being a house is the fucking weirdest thing ever. So I like this dark world kind of thing here. Like, it's its own version of the dark world, kind of... What am I thinking? God, I'm thinking the upside down Stranger Things. It's times like this, I wish I had that gyro aim. Now, you have to imagine that everyone that's playing this has played Ocarina at some point, 
I mean, you wouldn't start with this. Oh, like, I've never played a Zelda- nice. i never played a Zelda game, I'm gonna start with a- an alternate reality expansion. Wouldn't do that. Right? Vin forgot a power glove way back in the village area. Wait, did I, though? They did say there was a power glove in the grove. They did. Yeah, now I'm- I'm worried I'm gonna have to go back to the damn village. Oh, that was a little scary. What am I doing up here? I guess I will save warp then. Nice, got it. Okay, cool. Kind of sucks that you can miss this, but again, when you're only doing like a four hour Zelda game... Because how the fuck do you do, like, how do you, like, as a small team or just one person, like, actually finish making a 20-30 hour Zelda game? I'm surprised that shit ever gets done on any level. But you kind of have to do like a bite-sized version of the formula, or try some different things with it. I feel like that's what this is doing. I'm good at that again! Especially making it alone for free, right. But yeah, no, I respect the hell out of shit like this, I really do. Even if it's not perfect, that's the thing. It's real easy to say, oh, this isn't as good as Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time starts better, or has this, or has that. It's like, well, yeah, that's one of the most influential games ever made, even if you don't like it. Vinny, look at your item number. I have four sticks and 20 slingshot. And earlier I had 69 rupees. Sometimes the numbers line up into the sex and weed number. Crazy how that shit works. That means that I should be able to do this. Yeah! A metal shield? Okay, I can see Young Link is gonna be getting some... some substantial upgrades compared to Ocarina. Also, what the fuck is happening with Link's hair and the sword? It's not quite the Hylian shield, it's just... shield shield. Oh! The fact that there's some different stuff in here that you can get that's not in usual Ocarina, it doesn't feel lazy. It does feel a little wide open in areas like this, but I'm wondering if that's gonna change a little bit later on. I just wanna say though, missing the bracelet ate lots of pant. Vinny, did you ever get asked to be an actor in a movie? No. I would happily be an extra in one of those, like, city destruction sequences and have, like, a building fall on me. I don't have aspirations to be an actor. What was the new Vegas mod you voiced years ago? Yeah, I did, like, voice, I think, but I don't remember if I did, uh, line reading or if they just took the stuff from my streams. Uh, it was called, like, Rocket to Boom to the Moon, I think? Something, something cheesy like that? I don't know. And it was, like, a Fallout New Vegas mod. And I was like, I think one of the audio recordings. You almost said stupid. Oh. Yeah, it was- it's kind of a stupid name. Someone found your New Vegas voice clip. Chef Boyardee, beef ravioli. The first time I'm ever eating this shit. That's just from one of my videos. Yeah, I don't think I've read any lines for that. I'm pretty sure that's just- They just took that from the stupid SpaghettiO video. Vinny, there was a ledge above the rocks. I'm not sure, but it looks like you could throw a bomb down onto the rocks. Yeah, this is- this is a little bit confusing. Can you go left after crossing the bridge? This is very confusing. Vinny, you've produced so much content, you now need chat as a memory bank. I feel bad when I'm at conventions and people tell me stuff that happened on stream like four years ago, and it's like a moment that they really like. I'm like, dude, I don't- I don't know. Yeah, there's a bomb flower up there, so that's kind of where I have to go. So yeah, this- this isn't- I'm- I'm not loving this right now. I think- I think I got it. I got it. It's kind of easy to miss, and again, my Ocarina of Time brain says I need a bow and arrow for that. You shoot those with Slingshot and Ocarina of Time as well? You need a Slingshot for one of those eye switches in Dodongo's cavern. Damn. Forgot about that. I'm just a mess, chat. Like, I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> like, get out of my house. <laughs> I don't know what you want. Someone said, it's okay, we're all messes, it's just easier for us to hide it. Fuck. True or truer words have never been spoken. I'm okay with being your mess. Chat, that's fine. You got Duskside Tunic. It's embedded with stone fibers from Duskside that grant it heat resistance. Oh, that's good, because- because Link's hair is now green, and I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that. Well, now it's purple. Yeah, I'm definitely using the wrong plug-in for this. This does not count as the fire. Yeah, that I'm probably gonna need a bottle for. Maybe there's a bottle in the starter town. Boy, gee whiz, I don't know. Um... There's a bombable wall and bomb flowers in one of the rooms in the starting building. I did notice that. 
I did notice that. I think I'm gonna offer something, and I'm not afraid to do a little critique. Maybe before the player can get to that area, there should be a little bit more of a puzzle that involves the items you need here. So you don't accidentally leave this area and get there without the items you need. It's my thoughts on Keanu Reeves. Oh my god. Okay. That's- that's just much more elegant of a solution. There's still another torch to light in the grove outside town. Okay, well these rupees aren't really going to any particular use. Um, it's also almost 3.30, but before I go, I really would like to get this bottle. So, someone was telling me they played this. Where's that fucking bottle? See, one of the problems with Ocarina of Time is the restricted camera. It tends to just, like, funnel you into stuff. But this is a, a nitpick. I mean, it still works, it still works well, but there are times where I'm not seeing the whole picture because I'm... I don't, you know, I don't want to go like... like this. Limitation of the technology. Vinny's making 3 a.m. brain yacht excuses again. Someone just said in chat, this feels like a vague Zelda fever dream. Regardless of the camera, I am vine blinding stuff. I didn't note, I didn't see those vines. You paid me a visit, let me give you a little something. As a token of my appreciation. There's something up there. Use chicken roof over there to fly to the vines. Okay, just a second. I've been told I need to dive for the bottle. <laughs> Listen, 3.30 a.m. brain yacht excuses. Fair enough. I'm gonna say you put your heart pieces in places like that, not your necessary items. Oh, and I'm fine being the asshole by saying that. I'm fine with it. No, nope, just enough. Just good enough. In the river, it was in the river. I could have sworn I saw it floating down the river. Oh, <laughs> he's over here. <laughs> oh, you really gotta explore the fuck out of this place if you want your clues. I moved on so quickly. I'm gonna still say that a lot of this shit's very cryptic. My impatience did not do me any favors. Vinny, is this a full playthrough? I, I don't think so. It's nice to revisit Ocarina. Like, I really still love this game, and I just- I like its stupid engine. I like these stupid bushes that are just a couple of fucking sprites jammed together. I like this sound when you hit a tree with your sword. I like this too. It's just nice to revisit Ocarina in some form or another, it, you know, playing this. You know, even with a couple little flaws and me brain yachting and blinding and cryptic item placement, all that stuff. It's still nice to have some brand new Ocarina of Time content in any form. I'm hoping I don't doom this project by streaming it. I always fucking think about that. I always worry about that. Because it's happened before and I feel really bad about that. But, you know, in this case, the creator wanted me to check it out or the friend of the creator. And sometimes I'm requested, like, Vin, can you stream my thing? And I'm like, uh, I don't think I can. It should be fine if they're not monetizing it at all. I hear you, but I mean, it's happened before where I've had videos taken down. I remember there was a time, again, Nintendo's changed a bit and things have been a lot better lately and I've, I'm very happy about that. They have not busted my balls, but sometimes the videos get shut down or claimed to the point where no one can see them in any country. But I've also had like some serious issues with ROM hacks on my channel. Like the Legend of Sanic Ocarina of Fast was almost shit canned by Nintendo, like really hard. It's a long story. Some of you know some of the details. I don't think I've ever gone into the full story on stream, and I, I don't really want to, so I'm not going to, but essentially I was in contact with Nintendo at one point, and they were not happy about several of the things on my channel, and I had to explain corruptions. We're going back like six years, five years, whatever it was. It was a strange time. It's a very fucking strange time. Point is this. I will always enjoy Nintendo's video games, and I like their consoles, they tend to lose me a lot when it comes to their self-awareness, and also the way they, they kind of position themselves in the online world. I don't really like that. It's not just them, but it seems like they're the ones that mostly get channels taken down, 
So it's like, guys, come on. I love you, but you need to stop. It's like, I want to be that supportive friend. Also, uh, it's like quarter to four. And I finally made some good progress in this, and now I, I kind of have to go. Yeah, if I got all the items from the village, if I didn't rush to this area, I certainly would have had a better time with all this. You can beat this in a second stream, it probably wouldn't even be an hour long. Um, I'll consider it. I do like this. The problem is, though, which became a meme, is some people will, like, lie about the time left of a video game to get me to keep streaming it, or to get me to stream it in the first place. Nah, Vinny. Listen, Persona 5 is 20 minutes. Just start it, play it for two hours, and you'll see, it's only 20 minutes. Boop! This is it. This is where I'm gonna save. I just wanna get through here. Someone said there's a website where you can check the average time to beat a game. That is one of my favorite websites. Okay, so I think I found the dungeon. Now this looks cool as fuck. This is a really nicely done, like, unique looking Zelda dungeon. Nice music, too. I'll probably just stream this again. If it's really not more than, like, two hours worth of gameplay, I could come back to this at some point. Yeah, it's not perfect, but I don't really care. It's... it... I... I mean, I do and I don't. It's just mostly good. And, uh, quality Ocarina of Time ROM hack. I mean, alternate reality... Let me make a save state. I mean, let me... Oh, God. Let me leave my N64 on for a couple weeks. Someone said no game is perfect. Pong. Tetris. Just the simpler the game, the more perfect it can be. Alright, thank you for watching.